liquid or powder foundation. You could actually be making wrinkles look worse or getting your most flawless face, depending on which one you're using and if you've chosen the right one. So how do you know? This video goes into the science and the artistry of which one is best for your beautiful face. actually a little poll in the right hand corner and I want you to tell me do you use a liquid foundation a powder foundation or both depending on your skin type you might be using the wrong one for your skin so which one is right for which person well first off let's discuss the differences obviously one is a powder it's dry one is a liquid it seems to be a little bit more hydrating but because liquids can have different compounds they can actually be more dry than a powder and just because a powder is dry doesn't mean that it's going to sit well on your skin sometimes these can build up and look cakey if you're someone who has textural issues oily skin and are really looking to cover any raised bumps pitted scars or color you're probably going to want to go with a liquid or cream foundation these are really nice because you can apply them on you can usually apply them in layers and they generally cover that color and that texture more effectively now if you have wrinkles or more mature skin if you apply multiple layers of full coverage products they're going to ball up and get cakey they might even settle into those wrinkles and if they do settle into a smile line or into creases around the eyes it actually makes them look worse just like the Grand Canyon on your face if you do have more mature skin or even dry skin you want to go for a product that is a little bit more hydrating or has a little bit more of a dew this natural sheen can help disguise wrinkles and it can also be more hydrating to the skin now what about powder powder is really great if you're very active or tend to get oily throughout the day it can help to wick that away also if your foundation finish does not match the natural texture that you want from your skin a powder is a really good way to set everything in add a little bit of that extra coverage and make it long wearing this is a case where you would use both. Liquid and powder foundations also have different ingredients. If you're using a Mastige liquid foundation, it probably has ingredients like dimethicone or PEGs. These tend to be a little bit more smoothing on the skin, but aren't the most natural. If you are looking for a natural foundation, some really great ones have rice extracts or oils that can help to smooth over the skin, or some actual oil wicking ingredients, such as some finely milled natural clays. When it comes to powder, if you're using more synthetic one, you might find that the ingredients have talc or bismuth oxychloride. These are minerals that can be natural or synthesized in a lab, but they aren't the most natural and sometimes they can end up being a little bit cakey or a little bit creasy. If you are looking for natural alternatives, there are some great powders that are made from crushed bamboo or even from rice and peaches that are dried down and pressed to match your skin type but still keep your skin looking soft and supple. So what's the verdict? Powder, liquid, or both for your skin? Again, it depends on what you're trying to cover and making sure that you have the right products for your face. In this video, you learned about the differences between powder and liquid foundations, from the chemistry to the science of how they sit on your skin, and now have the knowledge to choose the best one that works for you. Or both if that's what you prefer. I believe that cosmetics shouldn't have to be confusing. They should be fun and explorative. And we should be able to have a makeup bag that matches our needs and our morals and values. There's a new minimal makeup video every single Monday at 11 a.m. And if you wanna get back to basics with your beauty, I would love to see you there. Hit subscribe or the notification bell so you don't miss it. And I cannot wait to see you in the next Back to Basics video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.